Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker, and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking to you, telling you how to easily convert decimals like this into binary. Alright, so this is just a follow the step pattern, so you don't really need to understand anything, but if you want to, I created a super in-depth 45 minute video over decimals and binary, so be sure to check that out. So the first thing that you do, basically you're just going to follow this pattern, you're going to need a calculator, unless uh, you can do everything in your head like me. Alright, so, I'm just kidding. Basically, you just take the number you have and uh, you multiply it. Oh, stupid cap, come on. You multiply it by 2. So, 0.78125. Multiply that by 2, so this is what we have. Yeah, right there. And then, and equals or whatever. And then you get 1.562. Five. Now we're going to continue to do this process, but every time we look at this first number to the left of the, uh, the decimal in this case, and we're going to append that or add that to our binary number. So we start with 0.1, and then we can get rid of that, and we're going to work with this right here. Once we have just this decimal, um, we can take that and once again multiply that by 2. That's a pattern we're going to follow each time. So we take 0.5625, multiply that by 2, and here's what we get. 1.125, there we go. So we get 1.125. All right, so once again, we take this 1, add it to our binary, and then just get rid of it. And then what we do is we take 0.125, multiply that by 2, we get 0 0.25. So we take the 0, put it down to the bottom. So even if it's not a 1, we still have to put that 0 there. Basically that's saying it, it didn't reach 1 that time, so we don't have enough, therefore we add a 0. So we just take that 0, move it down to the bottom, or move it to your binary, and then take 0.25, multiply that by 2, we get 0 0.5. Once again, take that 0, move it to the bottom, boom. Then you can get rid of it. And then once you have 0.5, that's that's the answer that you would want to get. You will take that. Anything that's going to evenly multiply into 1 in the end is what you want to get. So you multiply that by 2 and you will get 1.0. Take that 1, move it down to the bottom, and then get rid of it. Now, obviously we have zero, and if you multiply zero by two, you're going to have zero. So this is as far as you can go, and this is our final answer. And uh, we can talk a little bit more about that, how long we've gone, three minutes. So that's the process, you can do it for more complex things. In some cases, you're not going to get an answer that quickly if you have a really, like if you had 78, 120, 6, 7. Well, that's going to be a much longer uh, example. Obviously the farther you go in your binary, the farther you go right, the more precise your answer. But in some cases, you will never reach an end. For example, point 0.1, well, it, it'll just keep repeating and you'll have this pattern of like zero, zero, I don't remember the pattern, but I think it's zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. And it'll keep going and keep going and keep going and you'll never reach an end. So there is at some point you'll need to either stop or figure out a pattern that keeps repeating. Some, some will just keep going forever and you'll get tired. But that is how you do that. Uh, if you want to look at this fraction wise, this first number is one half. The second number is one fourth. This is one eighth, we don't have it, one sixteenth and one thirty second. So here are our total uh, fractions that we have. If you want to do the math, add these fractions up, we could look at um, 1 half, that's the same thing as 0 0.5, 1 fourth is 0 0.25, and then here, yeah, 1 divided by 32, what is that? 1 divided by 32, and you get 0 0.03125. Now when you add that up, when you add all these up, so 0 0.03125 plus 0 0.25 plus 
you get, oh, who would have guessed? Seven, eight, one, two, five. Which that was the original number we started with before I screwed it up. So yeah, <laughs> that is how to easily convert from decimal, decimal uh, or fractions or whatever. Basically, when you have a decimal number and you want to convert it to binary, that is how you do it. Everything right of the decimal is considered to be fractions rather than whole numbers, multiples of two. It's division of two. One half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty second. So yeah, if that was useful, be sure to subscribe and I will check you guys out in the next... I'm not going to check you out, that's weird. Didn't mean that. I'm going to check out... And then you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. That's right. Hit myself in the head there.